Kudus to the junta leaders in Burkina Faso, Mali, and Niger. They are really working their talk. Yes. So they have done another one. Yes. Niger's military leader speaking alongside the junta chiefs from Mali and Burkina Faso has said they are irrevocably turning their backs on the wider West African bloc ECOWAS. The three men are meeting together for the first time to cement an alliance created in the face of opposition from neighboring countries. Soldiers took power in Mali, Burkina Faso, and Niger in a series of coups from 2020 to 2023. All the three countries which are now from the alliance of Sahel states have been affected by jihadist violence, in part, in part a reason given for army takeovers. In January, they all announced a plan to leave ECOWAS, which is holding its own summit on Sunday. Speaking at Saturday's meeting in the Nigerian capital, Niamey, the country's leader, General Abudrahim Chenia, said that in the place of ECOWAS, the Junta chiefs wanted to build a community of sovereign, sovereign peoples, far from the control of foreign powers. So you see, that is why these three countries left the ECOWAS because they want to build something that is far away from organization that is being controlled by the West. That is why they left ECOWAS, to form their own un union, which is a union that is centered on their people, their needs, their situation, finding common solutions to their common problems. A community of peace, solidarity, prosperity based on our African values. Yes, this is a wonderful one. They have, because African problem, African solution. There's no way the West will find you any solution to your problems which will contradict or counter the things or stand on their way of getting the things they want to get out of Africa. It is not possible. Yes, any hype that is coming outside the shores of Africa that is coming from the West, you have to scrutinize it properly. It's just like when Af uh, Western leaders are singing praises for any African leader. Just know that that African leader is selling his country and his people off. He's just a puppet in their hand. Because they will never sing praises for African leaders who is standing on their way. That is just the truth. So the Broken Abbey leader said that together we will consolidate the foundations of our true independence. This is wonderful. Speaking at the summit, Captain Tuare went on to say that this continent has suffered and continues to suffer from the fire of the imperialists. These imperialists have only clutched in mind. Africa is the empire of slaves. That is what the joint leader in Burkina Faso is saying, that in the mind of the West, Africa is the empire of slaves, where they can go and get whatever they want at the detriment of Africa and its people. So that is why you see that they are standing up against such to find sol resolution to African problem, to be able to reposition their countries on the path of success and for their country to flourish and for them to dictate the selling and management of their natural resources, which you know that that is why the West has been doing whatever it takes to get themselves back into this country. But the junta leaders in this country are on a standby because they know that these people will never give up easily. Yes, I just hope that they succeed in other many things and be able to reposition their countries on the path of unimaginable success.